a bit different for you just walking around campus a little bit more people noticing you or how's this week been just coming off Saturday um it's been pretty crazy just like walking around or just going places people noticing you more and I mean yeah just kind of getting used to being the quarterback at Obama yes sir how important is the two weeks going to be for you Michael to really get a hold of this situation that you jumped into just being consistent, like focus on the little details that we need to get better at, and myself that I need to get better at going into this Texas game. And then when next week comes, just t tune in on the game plan and um, get it going from there. Mike, you're a Dallas guy. Uh, obviously, OU's never had a true freshman start this game at quarterback. What does this specific opportunity mean to you as you get ready for it in a week and a half? It means a lot, just knowing I'm going into a big stage. And it's my first time playing in this stadium and against this team, too. So. This is a big moment for me and just try to take advantage of it and maximize the opportunity I have. How are you handling the pressure, not only in the pocket, but from the media and the public in general? Um, I'd say I'm handling it pretty good. Just kind of staying off social media is the biggest thing for me. I wasn't really a guy that was on social media like that anyways, but um, just kind of keep going, doing the same thing I've always been doing. So not a big change. I do your teammates always brag about how calm you are. Do you feel like you're calm during the game? I mean, are you feeling like you're calm as the game's going on? I'd like to say I'm pretty calm during the game. Um, they they help me with that, though. Like the O-line, the receivers, just the defense as well, just making me comfortable and like, having my back in adversity. So I say they're a big part of that. Get, get a chance to kind of go back and look at the Auburn game. What were some things maybe you took away that you liked that you did or, or things you want to improve on after the first start there? I'd say things I want to improve on from the game is just getting through it a little faster and trusting in the pocket and, you know, making reads and um, bringing our guys. But uh, things I did good, I'm just like trying to make plays. If it wasn't there, and just getting vertical, um, keeping our receivers alive. So how are you preparing going up against Texas defense? Um, it's, a, it's a big game, but it's the same preparation as we do every game. So um, nothing like, I don't want to put too much out there. What do your coaches say when you flip into the end zone? Uh, I mean, when the game's on the line, I have no other choice to, like just trying to make a play for my team, sacrifice my body for them, because they do the same for me, but they um, say just keep your body safe. Yeah. yeah. You working on, on sliding at all too, maybe when it's, the game's not on the line? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. You talk about that. Uh, calm demeanor that James asked about. Where does that come from from you? Is it parents? You know, what what can you point to as the origin of that? I say my dad, ever since I grew up, he has always put me in like situations where just there's a ton of adversity and like that I need to overcome. So I mean I've always been calm growing up and trying to learn to be calm in my childhood and even in high school. So he's been a big part of that. Even my mom too. You guys made some plays and you end up winning the game. How did how well did you feel like the offense played in that game, in the Auburn game? We actually played pretty well. We just have some things we need to fix and execute, like not shoot ourselves in the foot, you know. But from a moving the ball standpoint, we did pretty well. Like the old line held up. They probably had their best game against Auburn. So um, it was a great thing. Just we shot ourselves in the foot some plays, some drives. How much of a help has it been to have a guy like Casey? In the room for you, just the guy who's played so much football at this level. It's a ton of help. He just has a lot of experience, like a big brother too. Um, he just knows what he's talking about. Like he could go on and on about it in meetings, even out of meetings. So he's a great guy to have in your room. What's your relationship been like with Jackson? Obviously, he's in a tough spot, but what's that been like between you guys? It's been great. Um, we have the same relationship we had before, so nothing has changed. It's a good relationship. We always try to help each other out in film or even off the football field.